Good evening, everyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to the second year class for uh, uh it's called the Zi San. Okay, Zi San, and yeah. basically it's the ultimate uh, perfecting like virtue or something like that. Okay, and so therefore, um, well that that title was given by lecture time, but anyway, uh, so therefore, um, we so sort of like have advanced through the first year class. Okay, which is the Xingming or new member class. Okay, and so therefore, uh, we you know I guess just to just to uh, so like follow the procedure in a way. Uh, I need to so like just you know let you know about the um, you know the requirements as well as the regulations and the test testing in, you know involved with all this second year class. Okay, and so therefore, um, the whole idea of the all this five year class is because of our it's 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 a five year class only because of the fact that we have from the beginning to the last class basically it's equivalent to about five years okay ah five years yeah so and so month, a couple of months okay <laughs> off maybe a couple of months okay and basically though the whole idea of the class is eventually to try to get someone to become eventually a speaker or a lecturer. Okay, so that's the purpose of the class because after all, when a uh, holy teacher had uh, started the class, basically, you know, the uh, holy teacher wanted us to be able to cultivate or, uh, yeah, cultivate people to try to be able to do classes. And in order to do that, of course, they have to learn a lot of information okay which you had done in the first year class new year's uh, new member class and then now it's now the perfecting virtue class which is a second year and then eventually it'll go to eventually to what they call the pay the or uh uh, uh har harmonious maybe pay pay yeah pay, uh, the, the virtue class okay and eventually it'll go to you know the fifth year class so the ideal one need, uh, we need to sort of like teach you or let you know about all the Tao, as much Tao information that you can get, so to speak, within this class. And so therefore, it will give you a foundation to build on to be able to become eventually a speaker or a lecturer. Because after all, the first year class had built on some foundation, okay? And then it sort of like gets more and more. <laughs> And so therefore, the second year class builds more, oh, uh, sorry, builds more, up, uh, yeah, builds more uh, upon the first year class and then adds a lot more, <laughs> okay? And so therefore, uh, hopefully you will be able to uh, progress. And, you know, once you begin to uh, have more familiarity, familiarity with the procedures and also the uh, the ceremonies that so sort of like um, uh, we have in the temple, okay. So, uh, so you can be able to uh, be able to eventually so sort of like um, becoming automatic or you know get become like mu muscle memory in a sense to try to uh, uh, attend all these ceremonies and be able to participate in it also. Okay, so anyway, the first thing about the member class requirements for this class to begin, okay? Obviously, number one is that you must have graduated from a Dharma class, okay? And also, you have taken two vows already, the first two vows, that was in the, uh, the Dharma class that uh, we only presented to, uh, two vows for you to take, okay? Second is the fact that you will have graduated from this new member class, the Xingming, okay? And so therefore, you have taken all the tests for the Xingming, okay, or new member class, and you have passed all those tests, okay? And the third is, of course, we, uh, you know, uh, in when you are um, attending the class in person, so to speak, at a temple, you know, uh, we, Required that, of course, you wear your uniform or be a you know of neat appearance when you you know come to the temple, okay. And the last thing is it's more of an encouragement to be able to become a vegetarian or vegan, okay. So that's just more of a encouragement, okay, because after all, not everybody can you know 
be easily uh, 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 go to a vegan or vegetarian diet. Okay. All right. So there. So uh, uh, okay. So basically, that uh, concludes uh, the class member requirements. Okay. So the second uh, topic we talk about is the class work or the attendance. Okay. Now. In the uh, first year class, basically, there's uh, a, le uh, a lesser requirement on attendance. I'll put it that way. Okay. Now, in this second year class, the attendance is increased, so to speak, in the sense that it requires 70% or 26 cl uh, 28 classes, okay, in order to really uh, graduate from the class or be a a count counted as a graduation requirement. Okay, I'll call it that. Okay. And second, and you, that's a little bit more important, is the fact that when we listen to a class, okay, whether it's online or, you know, attend the class, okay, there's also a requirement. I guess it's called a re new requirement. Okay, because uh, uh, in the first year class, they don't have that. But the second year class, we sort of like have a requirement in which that the you must also submit after after the class, of course, you know, within a week, you must submit a written summary, outline, or key points, like like a bullet point, you know, so to speak. You know, you just list the bullet points on, you know, the key points of the uh, presentation of the class. Okay, all right, and when you miss a class, so to speak, okay, and, you know, because after all, you didn't, you know, you didn't attend one class because, you know, for whatever reason, okay? And if you try, you know, you do a, you have to do a uh, review or, or makeup of the class. You all, once you do that makeup, then of course you can, you get another week to, uh, also one week to be able to submit that, you know, summary or outline, et cetera, okay? So that is a little bit different from, you know, the way we had set up. So this is more important because after all, the whole idea of us writing or taking notes, if you will, okay, of these uh, key points that we listen to is basically to allow you to be able to not only help you in your testing, okay, that's a little bit, you know, the third category, and also be able to learn as much as you can about the Tao through the fact that the notes that you have written can help you to review these these classes, okay? All right, so, uh, and then of course, the third, fourth, fifth, it's more like talking about, you know, <laughs> uh, lateness or, you know, tardiness or whatever. You know, if you miss, uh, I'll just read it out. If you miss 10 minutes or more of the class, then the attendance does not count, okay? And then you have to do a makeup. Okay, that's fine, okay? You have to do it within a week. Okay, and then if partial attendance is because due to special circumstances, of course, you must also, uh, I guess, report to the director or master in charge for consideration. Okay, and, you know, the consideration will be very sort of like, you know, I guess I'll call it lenient, but, you know, it's the whole idea of the fact that you try to make an effort to attend a class. Okay. And then in uh, in person class, that's when you know you come to the temple to listen to the class. You know, uh, then uh, you know you should. You know, I guess you you sort of like you get warned if you happen to be playing on your phone instead of listening to the class. Or uh, you know, and uh, you know if it happens like many times or uh, more than twice or more than once, so to speak, then of course you get a you know you sort of like uh, get a uh, a uh, a, a different uh different uh check instead of a check mark you get a uh like so like equ equivalent to like a uh, non attendance <laughs> so the attendance doesn't count all right okay so anyway and also in when when you know when we were um, uh listening to the the uh the classes that were done in uh Taiwan you know, or you know uh, Taiwan of course basically when they do online classes they request that you turn on your own camera, you know, if you have a camera on the computer, okay, or your phone, you know, phone or whatever. And basically it allows them to notice 
your actions in terms of listening to the class. <laughs> so, you know, if you happen to like, you know, maybe want to take a nap, whatever, if you, you know, whatever, then yeah, they'll see it. And so therefore your attendance is not counted again. All right. So anyway, uh, this is sort of like, you know, uh, a special case, you know, I don't know. Okay. And then of course, uh, the, uh, the fifth uh, topic is of course, when you're again in an in-person class, Basically, sometimes, you know, when you are in the temple, you want to, you know, when you're looking at a projector or some slides or whatever, then, you know, sometimes you want to, okay, oh, you know, to, you know, remind you of the information or whatever. So you, you know, take a picture of that information. Okay, well, it's okay. That's fine. But, you know, just make sure the fact that you do it silently, you know, or have the, uh, 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 the, the camera clicking <laughs> uh, be more uh, less or more silent, okay? And then, you know, if you make a noise, then okay, yeah, fine, you get a warning and, you know, again, same thing, you know, when it happens more than once, then, you know, the attendance uh, gets uh, uh, so sort of like avoided, so to speak, all right? And of course, the last thing is just to say that, you know, we need to, uh, we want the class members uh, to be able to ask questions or participate in discussions about whatever uh, was presented in the class. Okay, all right. Moving forward down, uh, can we? Uh, let's see. Can I move down the screen? Oh yeah, let me move down. Okay. Oh, uh, that's yeah. No, that's a little bit. I need more. Okay, the testing. Okay, ideally the testing should be done in a temple, but it's not required to be done in the temple. Okay, because after all, you have uh, you one of the testing column A, I mean, uh, and number A basically is the proprieties. Okay, now in the new member class, we have only the departure and arrival proprieties, correct? And ideally, you know, uh, when we uh, when we had tested uh, the particular person. Basically, they record them in a temple, so to speak, and basically they send us the video of the recording so that we can see. Okay. Uh, now, in the case of the um, uh, uh, the second year class, okay, it's a little bit more. Okay. First one is called the morning and evening incense offerings. Okay. Now, of course, you know. Uh, uh, those that you know are have temples and all that stuff, they do it all the time. But um, it's a little bit more elaborate, so to speak. Okay, because after all, it includes a lot more uh, bows. Okay, and also a lot more uh, 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 people that you're uh, uh, bowing to. Okay, and of course, uh, uh, you know, in the um, departure and uh, departure and arrival prop propriety, basically you hear about, okay, like what is Mi Ming Sang Di? Okay, that's first person that, uh, first uh, 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 a name that uh, has five bows. And then after that, Zhu Tian Sen Sen, Mi Le Zhu Si. Okay, now those really sort of like repeats in those sense. So technically, yeah, it is sort of like a, a repeating of the morning, uh, the arrival and departure ceremony, but it's a lot more longer, <laughs> much longer, okay? And also there's, uh, it's possible that they also have a requirement uh, where you have to do the, what's called the repentance, uh, 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 it's, uh, it's called the repentance um, um, uh, 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 part of the ceremony, so to speak. Okay, you, you basically, I, I, need, I need to watch them call, um, find out about whether the morning and evening ceremonies uh, uh, does a explanation of what that repentance aspect is of that morning and evening incense offering. All right, okay. Then the second, uh, 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 I guess, uh, propriety is what's called the class opening and closing ritual. Okay, that the good news is the fact that they don't really differ that much. 
compared to the morning and evening incense offerings ceremony or propriety. Okay, the technically the class opening and closing ritual propriety is a little bit lesser <laughs> or or not as long. <laughs> okay, uh, because after all, uh, the morning and evening incense offering uh, has a, a hundred bows at, at the end, <laughs> a hundred bows at the end, uh, of which uh, the class opening and closing rituals doesn't have that. <laughs> okay, so, but anyway, but it, the point is the fact that uh, these rituals or proprieties basically uh, allows you to practice the repeating of name, many names, okay? Because after all, technically, most of the names are the same, same ones as the uh, arrival and departure ceremony, some of them. Okay, well, the basic ones. And then the morning, evening, as well as the class opening and closing, there's just a lot more people, so to speak, or a lot, lot more names or bows you, you have to make. Okay, all right. And then the last thing is, of course, you know, once you um, basically have essentially try to you know have master i guess you uh, the morning and class opening rituals then basically you're encouraged to try to uh, learn about the what's called the offering propriety uh, propri you know the the the, the like uh, when you have like certain um uh days uh, whether it's a uh, a saint's or Buddhist birthday, or a a, uh, a certain um, a, 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 a patriarch's birthday, or a predecessor's birthday, uh, then you sort of like have these uh, 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 offering syrup proprieties, which you offer fruits to put it on the table, etc. Okay, because after all, the morning and in evening incense offering only does the cups. Okay, the the cups that you see on the uh, altar. Okay, and the uh, class opening and closing basically it's less than that. Okay, it's only uh, rituals so, or, or bows, so to speak, names and bows. But then in the uh, offering ceremony or the propriety, basically you know you're talking about the the cups as well as possible the fruits. I mean, uh, as well as sorry, fruits, a lot of fruits. Okay, on the uh, altar table. Okay, but anyway, that part is only required or encouraged to be basically to learn about that, and that's it. Okay, part B, the reciting and explaining things. Okay, now uh, we had done um, the uh, recite uh, reciting of the uh, knowledge from uh, um, uh, Immortal Lu. Okay, basically that was for first year, which is the new member class. Now we're talking about same thing, but for second year class. And second year class is a little bit more expanded, so to speak, okay? Because after all, you know, there is some uh, that, uh, uh, that sort of like, it sort of like builds up upon it, uh, the, 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 the second year. And so therefore, you know, even basically, Lecture, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Immortal Lu knowledge uh, requirement is really has like five years <laughs> or four or five years. Okay. And it sort of like builds, a, you know, adds up to accumulates, I'll call it accumulates. Okay. This knowledge. So, you know, and then you learn uh, uh, something new for what's called the three introspections. Where then you know that's when you know uh, one of the disciples of uh, uh, Confucius had you know mentioned about you know what what he needs to do or what he does every day so to speak to try to uh, re, uh, uh, practice and also follow what the teachings of Confucius were. Okay. All right. Then after that you have uh, part four uh, B, which is the ten great vows. Okay. Remember when we, you know, uh, well, not, well, we probably did forget, but uh, when we first um, received the, uh, or uh, uh, when we first made the, um, sorry, when we first uh, 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 had the, bless, uh, what's called the blessing ceremony or when you re thou receiving ceremony, okay, basically everyone who did the Tao ceremony or uh, 
was you know introduced or whatever by the sponsor and introducer whatever they basically the that particular person had to make what is called the ten great vowels and those are vowels that unfortunately if you don't understand Chinese you just have to repeat whatever they said okay <laughs> and not understand what they are okay so one of those um, these um, tests is to learn about what is called the 10 great vowels. Those are the vowels that you made when you were uh, getting, uh, I guess, doing the blessing ceremony, okay, or the re Tao receiving ceremony, okay? All right, and so therefore, you know, of course, a class will be, you know, one or more classes may be done to, uh, so like, uh, explain to you what those vowels are and also uh, be able to allow you to, you know, uh, know them by heart, so to speak, all right? Okay, and then of course, the last part is uh, B5 is the 15 temple precepts. That's uh, in Chinese, it's basically it's called the 15条 fu gui. Okay, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, technically, yeah, it's just exactly uh, translated as uh, 15 temple precepts. And basically it's sort of like a, um, uh, what the, uh, the Buddhists and saints had told us the fact that it is like a ladder in which that you sort of like climb in terms of uh, acquiring more knowledge about the Tao and also practicing the Tao. And basically all these uh, precepts or what we call precepts or 15, there's 15 of them exactly, is to allow you to be able to live a life that's within the, uh, or live a life that's harmonious with people that you interact with and also be able to understand yourself, so to speak, in terms of how you should uh, uh, conduct yourself, okay, in, in terms of interacting with others, okay? So those basically is the 15 temple precepts, all right? And then of course, you know, uh, in part four is basically the, you know, it's the same questions that is uh, posed in the uh, new member class, you know, am I feeling with my parents and loving to, towards my siblings? You know, do I regularly study Buddha nature or holy scriptures and sutras? Okay, am I uh, actions consistent with my words? You know, and am I sincere in my heart with respect to others? And do I follow the 15 <laughs> temple precepts? Okay, so these are all questions that you should have to ask for yourself when you are learning about this uh, cultivation, okay? And yeah, I'll just skip all the rest, okay? And then, of course, last thing is graduation requirements, okay? And basically, those are uh, the fact that you have to attend 70% of the online classes and also be able to write at least 70% of those to, you know, the summary or outline and uh, 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 other aspects. Now, I'll, 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 I'll let the lecture Kai to basically... Uh, uh, answer about, you know, any questions about those tests and uh, uh, the summary, so to speak. And so therefore, uh, he, you will have a better idea of what we require in terms of a summary, okay? And then of course, there's the evaluation of by transmitters to or lecturers and directors to evaluate basically does the member or the class member is qualified to graduate. Because after all, um, one of the most important things that um, uh, during the, remember the talent class that was in June, okay? Basically, uh, 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 holy teacher called on me apparently because I happened to be standing on a ladder or something like that, and he called me down, and basically he was just reminding myself, uh, him, um, me, reminding <laughs> me that yes, you know, when you have to. Uh, as a transmitter, basically, when you are deciding about what, uh, a, or evaluating how a person uh, can be a new, um, uh, a new or promote them to a new class or uh, promoting somebody to be, you know, some uh, different, um, different, like it could be a temple host or uh, or lecture or whatever. Okay, basically, he stated that the most important thing that you have to to know about that person is that person's character 
Okay, now character is a broad, broad, broad spectrum. Okay, but it is very important that you um, uh, uh, know about a person's character. Okay, because after all, that sort of like allows you to understand, you know, the way he interacts with other people, the way he uh, looks at um, uh, 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 whether there's it's criticism or other things. That uh, you know, how he does he respond to that, and so therefore, yeah, it, 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 if you really, really understand what character is, then you will be able to judge uh, those characters or, or that person, you know, as qualified or not to be able to um, to you know uh, advance, so to speak. Now, I use the word judge, but it's really not a judge because after all, it's sort of like it's still subjective, but you need to. Once you uh, have a lot of interaction with that particular member, you at least will know them a little bit better. Okay, and basically that's really it for in terms of my presentation. Um, uh, if there's any questions uh, about you know the 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 testing and all that stuff, uh, yeah, I should basically uh, uh, allow. Um, Lecture Kai to uh, so I give more uh, specific answers, so to speak, than uh, myself. Okay, so uh, uh, basically, uh, I, I'm th that's all I have, and so therefore, if um, if you have any questions, yes, please uh, let uh, Lecture Kai come to come online and basically, uh, you know, answer those questions. If you all right, uh, okay, uh, thank you, thank you, Professor uh, Ray. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go, I mean, you know, just summarize some of this stuff and um, yeah, you can keep the screen, I guess. Um, uh, you know, I don't wanna repeat what Transmitter Ray said, but um, you know, the, the one of the, the you know, key um, purposes, okay, reasons for having these five-year classes, right, is a, um, well, it's yeah. It, it's to uh, there, there, there are few few uh, few uh, reasons you know significance of that is that one it's a you can say it's a a uh, 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 basic way okay for us to learn and cultivate the Tao right okay I mean and, and it's also so that's that and. and uh, uh, so these five-year classes, and it's a progression, right? I mean, you know, people say, oh, yeah, just five years. It's like going to school, you know, for five years and you graduate and then you're done. Uh, that's not the case, okay? I mean, uh, a, a couple points. So the five-year setup is just so that it's actually really basic, okay? I mean, it's all basic stuff, even up to the five-year level, okay? It's to help us um, learn about the Tao, basically learn about the Tao, so that's the knowledge aspect, right? Okay, the learning aspect. But then we also learn how to practice, to do, to do, to practice, to you know, to follow the Tao, you know, concepts, principles, you know, you know, okay. And then part of that is to follow the rules and regulations, you know, and, and to and also to fulfill vows. Okay. So 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 it so so before you could the, the reason why some people might ask, well, you know, why do I need to to uh, to finish or graduate, you know, quote unquote, graduate from the Dharma class in order to become an official member of, you know, uh, uh, to official class member to be to be eligible to 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 uh, join the five year, you know, enroll in the five year classes. Well, the reason is because the Dharma class, the two day Dharma class, is basically an overall view, overall, you know, because because you know. Because the, if you if you you know if you look at the topics right within the Dharma class right there are what like what, six or seven in the first day six or seven in the second day you know altogether maybe 12, 12, 13 classes <clears throat> you know they, they, they there's a sequence right you know you know you know uh, the true meaning of life the first one right so it's that kind of like frames you know or, or, or lays the foundation for you know for you know embarking on you know learning about the Tao or you know, understanding, oh, you know, why, you know, you know, yeah, what's the point in life? You know, what what am I what am I gonna do with my life? You know, what why why am I existing? You know, what, you know, what's the purpose of 
life, right? Of me. Okay. And that that's points us to, to a direction, right? To, to a particular direction, you know, i.e. the Tao or the cultivation. And and, and, and well the Tao and then and then how, how do we how do we uh, get to know, learn about the Tao and, and uh, it's by cultivation, like that path. So it's like answering the well, not answer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or, or recognizing, or if you will, recognizing the uh, the four noble truths, right? Right, 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 right. You know, the four noble truths, right? Of Buddha, right, right. Okay. So, 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 so the the, the 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 Dharma class gives you an overall view, and then, you know, from 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 you know, uh, understanding what what is really existence all about, you know, what is living life all about, okay, and, you know, what's the true meaning of it, right? And then all the way to the final, the the, la the, the last class of the second day, which is to what awaken to faith, vows, cultivation, and what realization, right? So so I mean, those of you who attended the, the, that class that I given before in Dharma classes, you know, you understand, right? That. That. So, 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 and then you have to make those two vows, right? The first two vows, which is what? Emphasize the holy, you know, just the holy more than the mundane, right? And then also to, um, uh, what, the, the giving of what? The charity, uh, giving of, 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 you can say, giving of, 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 of yeah, giving uh, of, um, uh, uh, what's what's got? Uh, giving of, the, the charity, which is comprised of two parts, right? Time and also, well, material things and also, uh, you know, monetary material things and time and also the Dharma, right? The teachings. And, and, and so as part of fulfilling those two vows, right? You, you the next step, right? To, to, as part of fulfilling those two vows is to join the five-year classes. Make sense. So the five year classes is is partly uh, 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 a way to fulfill those two vows. And and, and what, what how, how's that? Because well, the five year curriculum is if you join, if you if you attend, okay, as a official class member, it means that that's an expression of you, what saying that hey, you know, yeah, you know, uh, 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 I'm going to uh, learn more about the Tao, et cetera, et cetera, you know, by by uh, joining these five-year classes, and so that that is an expression, uh, a display that you value something, you know, the spiritual, you know, spiritual, holy, whatever, over the mundane, right? I mean, you, you're taking time, you're taking time right now to, to join the class, to listen to that. That's a, that's an that's a sign of that, right? Okay, so, so that's why. Now, then people say, well, uh, how about if I am an, uh, how, how can I just be an auditor? I can just, you know, I, I didn't I didn't attend the Dhamma class. You know, I, I I don't want to attend the Dhamma or not, I, I don't know, whatever reason, whatever reason, okay? Uh, uh, whether you want to or not, or, or for some other reason, you can't attend the Dharma class. You say, hey, you know, I'm still interested in learning about the Tao, you know, then I, I why can't I uh, audit, just audit, you know, these five-year classes? Why not? I mean, you know, isn't, isn't you know, you know, is there any big secret? Isn't, isn't Tao good for everybody? Isn't that the whole objective to... To, to spread the Tao, to, to propagate the Tao, to, to have more people learn about the Tao. Now, on the general case, that's, that's correct. That, that reason is okay. But, but, <laughs> there's a catch. It's, it's, how can I say? It, we want to say that there's a sequence to everything. You know, there's like a routine, okay, sequence to everything, right? You know, you can't put the cart before the horse, right? Because the, car, the horse pulls the cart, doesn't push the cart, right? So there's always a sequence to everything. One comes before two, I hope. I, I don't know. Maybe people think one comes at the end. I don't know. The number one comes before number two. Number two comes before three. Three comes before four, blah, 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 right? Okay. So, so, so there is a sequence. So if you are truly interested in learning about the Tao and wanting to embark on that cultivation of the Tao. Now, this cultivation is a lifetime cultivation, so it's more than the five years, but but then you should do like what the natural sequence would be is to attend the Dharma class, the two-day Dharma class, and then make those two vows. Because then that proves your genuine interest. If you are if and faith, you can say faith in, in the Tao, in yourself, 
you know, in, in, in knowing our Buddha nature, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or, okay, okay. So, so that's a proof. If you are able to make two vows, those two vows, that's a proof, right? If you don't, if you skip those two vows, then it's not, well, first of all, it's a question of sincerity also. And it doesn't mean, and it, and it doesn't show you that you have faith, that you have faith, right? And want to learn about that, right? So, so that's why we, we have these requirements, okay? So, so that's very important to know. Now, these five-year classes, now, another thing about the, the, the five-year class is to show that, oh, if you are able to uh, attend a two-day Dharma class, make those two vows, and sign up and, and join, you know, join the, the, the five-year curriculum, it's also a proof of your sincerity, that you have genuine, you're genuinely sincere in wanting to learn, right, and practice. You're also, in a sense, displaying faith, that you have faith or belief in the Tao, right? And that you're willing to stick it through, right? Stick it through the through thick and thin, right? Through those five years, right? Right? Whereas if you're an auditor, you can come and go whenever you want, right? I mean, there's nothing to 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 compel you or motivate you to want to stick it through, right? Right? I mean, isn't it right? I mean, that's that's the definition. That's why an auditor is not an official class member. Get it? Okay, so that's very important. It's important to understand that. Now, also, why do we have these five years? It's because to teach you the basics, you know, level by level, right? You have to know how to crawl before you know how to walk. You have to know how to walk before you know how to run, right, et cetera, okay? So so, so it, it goes from the very basics, right? Just the first year stuff, general knowledge, and then to more advanced levels, you know, to the fifth year, but that does not end. Actually, the reason why it's called a five year is just to prepare you uh, so that you, you are eligible to become a speaker, okay, okay, and, and then a, a lecture, okay, and, and so it's basically, it's like the, it's like the ABCs, the elementary school, whatever you want to call it, okay, the basic training, okay, for one to be able to talk about the Tao, to know enough, to know enough basic concepts, et cetera, and also through practice, okay, personal experience, personal practice, et cetera, uh, you know, interaction with, with, the, um, with the other Tao members of the community, et cetera, et cetera, of the temple, okay? And that way, whenever, whenever you encounter people or when you want to uh, 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 let other people, be it, you know, whoever, relatives, friends, classmates, colleagues, et cetera, okay? to know about the Tao, you are well-grounded. You are prepared. You are better prepared. You have some, some solid foundation, right? To be able to explain to them what the Tao is. Make sense? Okay, so, so, so that's that. Now, after the five years, doesn't mean that you stop learning. Actually, you know, right? You learn as long as you breathe, right? As long as you live, okay? So, so hopefully that would be ingrained. Okay, now to talk about uh, some of the class, um, uh, topics, overview, whatever. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a little bit more uh, 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 knowledge, <laughs> more, you know, more, more information, okay? More, more knowledge about the Tao. And so like part two, right, of Immortal Lose Knowledge, okay? Uh, but, but we also, I mean, you know, like kind of review some of the stuff that we learned in, uh, in year one, okay? In the new member class, okay? You know, like the four don'ts, right? The four taboos, four don'ts, et cetera. The three clear distinctions, the four proper conduct. We have to know more than just the, 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 the key words. You know, we have to kind of describe what it means, right? Or give an example, you know, stuff like that. Okay, right, all right. And then, and then additional stuff like 10 great vows, right? Those of us, all of us who have, a ten, you know, who have uh, received the Tao, right? We have to go through that. That ritual, right, of repeating those ten great vows. We explain it more in great detail. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. So this. Yeah. Here's the. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Here's the. Well, this is from the. Yeah. This is the. Uh, the second year, right? Second year. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Well, there's more. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, some of the stuff. Yeah. So. So. Anyway. Yeah. So. So. You know, we have to explain. Okay. I mean, so it's just more. You know, more. More details. More. More. More knowledge. Yeah. More knowledge. But, but that's okay because you know, like you said, like I said before, it's you know, it's progression, right? It's a progression. Being an official class member 
Now I've just reiterate from first year class, okay, the previous session is that uh, you you really benefit, okay, yourself and also your ancestors, right? Your ancestors, okay, because 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 that means we are following the protocol. Get it? Okay. So so if you're just an auditor and you don't, you know, you just want to listen in, you know, you know, come and go whenever. Uh, but that's not following a protocol. Make sense? Okay. So there's a formal, you know, there's a formal part and an informal part, right? So the formal is the important aspect, right? The informal is, you know, you can do whatever you want, right? Okay. So but the formal is we follow protocol, right? We follow procedures, et cetera. And so that's why it's so important that that you have to uh, graduate from the Dharma class, make the two vows, and then you can then join officially as an official class member, right? And and so that's more that's more important. And, and so 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 not not just that you will benefit, but you know because that's also part of of fulfilling your vows, right? That's the personal part, but also your ancestors can benefit, all right? So as an auditor, I'm not so sure if your ancestors will benefit. Okay, so because you can come and go when you please. Maybe when you show up, but but if you're going to show up consistently anyway, right, then why not become an official member, right? Right? But people say, oh, well, you know, I don't want to make those two vows. So then that proves that you're not, well, there's a sincerity question. There's a faith question, right? And what did Buddha say, right? Buddhas cannot ferry us or save us if for those people who do not make vows, right? So, so is the Buddha being unmerciful, incompassionate, Right when Buddha had those three, right those three, um, three conditions, right? No, no, that's the way it is. Okay, all right. So, so likewise, when we when we say, oh, you must attend, uh, graduate from the Dharma class in order to become an official class member, we're not being unmerciful. We're not being incompassionate. Right? Okay. Same idea. Right? Same idea. Okay. So it's like saying to those people. That's why I encourage. This is also an encouragement. Okay. For those people to to uh, to 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 go attend the Dharma class, make those two vows and stuff. All right, it should be a motivation. It's like saying some people will tell you, okay, who uh, who 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 wants to live? I, I hope everybody right raise their hands. Yeah, right. We all want to live, isn't that right? Right. Otherwise, how can we not cultivate? How can we cultivate? Right. Okay. All right. But here's the condition: I want to live, but I don't want to eat. Huh? I don't know. That doesn't make sense, right? Eating, eating is part of living, right? I would hope we know that logic, right? So, 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 so that's why for those people who who say, oh, you know, I don't have to attend the Dharma class, I don't have to make the two vows, and I should just, I'll just, I'll just audit whatever classes, okay, you know, there is. Well, that's the type of people who want to live, but they don't want to eat, okay? So it's kind of very illogical, right? Okay. All right. So I just conclude.